Hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. You are hopefully uh, tuning in after watching us for two full hours. I hope you missed those two. But if you didn't, it's okay. Because <laughs> did if... you just say I hope you missed those two? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> did I? We've got off to a great start. <sighs> Tell you. That's where we're at right oh, now. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. I mean, I don't even know where I am currently. Shall I leave? Oh, do you want to just carry I think, on with I think you should, I should leave. No, don't do that. And then, <laughs> oh, honestly, my brain, it's like... Um, yes, hopefully... <laughs> Well, anyway, it's lovely to have your company, and our Jane is here. Um, Lord, now, it is a different counter. We've got a few that you might have saw out last time, but it's a different counter. You and, you and all your stuff. I know, right? <laughs> so, um, most of it we have seen before. The first book kit is brand new. Nice. Um, but I never get much chance to show almost like the mixed media side of it. So, I'm going to try and show different techniques nice. and put some collage That's together. Good. But of a journaling kind of yeah and thing. i love yeah. it because this is the thing isn't it with mixed media it it sounds like this elusive kind of mm. you know magical thing actually it can be whatever you want it to be it's basically yeah. just slapping lots of things on isn't yeah. it and yeah and, but, you know but people like different things so you can get like the yes. dark grungy mixed media with the 3d and all that sort of stuff mm -hmm. which is lovely but for some people they're like oh too much. It, it's a bit too scary yeah then the the <laughs> The lovely show we did earlier. Absolutely. Which you I watched. hope you saw. <laughs> <laughs> um, was more of a, like pretty. a painting, kind of pretty. Yeah. And then this is more kind of paper crafting, but with a bit of a difference. Nice So one. there's so many different there forms is, of it. There's yeah. so many. And it's funny, you're probably, you're probably doing a little bit without even know you're doing it at times. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we have got loads and loads to see. <clears throat> We have got two hours, so sit back, enjoy the show, um, get your notepads so you can write some notes as well when Jane <laughs> uh, shares with us some of her fan fantastic techniques. Uh, have a look on the website, that's where you'll find all Jane's goodies, um, and that does include stuff that we saw in the last hour. Uh, so if there is stuff that you missed, then please do have a look at the website, because that's, oh, and all those gorgeous stamps, that's where you'll find those really good prices. I don't think, especially club members, I don't think there's anything above £20 in that show. Mm, don't, I don't no, think there don't, was. Don't think so, no. So, I mean, no. the prices are phenomenal, so please check. Obviously, this is our Mixed Media Masterclass, um, and that means we've got the four hours. This is every other Thursday, but it also means we've got a special place on the website. When you shop by brand, you look up a moment with Mixed Media, and that will give you um, a selection of goodies on there. And it's all different companies who've joined us, um, or, of course, who fit within that umbrella but keep checking on that because we do add new things all the time so actually go to your brand shop shop by brand and it starts with a moment with a mixed media <laughs> and there's all sorts on there so it is a case of scrolling through seeing what we've got because we've got some good stuff so um do keep your eye on there and obviously every time i see those golden fluid paints i get a bit <laughs> giddy um <laughs> so nice um now Laws to show you, so let's get stuck in. So first of all, you might have seen a sneak peek of this in the last hour, and this is a lovely kit. I'm going to show you where you're aiming with this straight <laughs> away, because this is this is what you're you're going to be able to create. Yes. And um, you've got full instructions and everything. Full instructions. Um, you've got everything in there apart from your basics, like your glue, right. and you might need a knife if you want to trim your page. You know your basics. Yeah. Um, and a needle. You'll need a needle. Okay. Um, of course. But everything else is in there. So the paper is recycled cartridge paper, which Beautiful. is UK milled. Yeah, um, cool. So even as a, I've said this before, even as a small business, we get through a lot of paper. Yeah. So it's important to me where possible to source UK uh, and recycled. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which I this love is, that. and it's a lovely weight if you want to use it for a sketchbook or if you want to go in with collaging and and different things. It's yeah. a good weight for that. Yeah, it's lovely and it's super smooth as well. Yeah. You've got wax thread in there. Um, your boards, your dangles. On this one, we've got metal hardware, so you've got metal mm, corners. Very posh. Um, and a little frame to go on the front as well. And then like a little hanger as well, like a little door knocker, which on mine oh, I've yeah. hung the little key on. Um, yeah, I like that. 
There you go. And then, so as well as the prints you've got to complete your book, you've got additional kind of like ephemera prints as so well. So all of these. So yeah, it starts you off with decorating. Now, if you don't want to use them in the book, you know, they're perfect yeah. for other projects as well. And it's lovely, because obviously these are taken from proper vintage yeah. um, elements. And yeah. I, I love things like this, because the, they just look, I mean, they just look fabulous, don't they? Oh, your lovely little vintage yeah. collections. Yeah. They're just, yeah, there's something magical. And obviously, with stuff like this, you can colour tint it, you yeah. can scrunch it up, you can distress yeah. it, you can do all yeah. sorts, can't it you? It is funny how we try and make things look older. I know, you know, isn't it? We try and distress yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, it is funny because we get more distressed as yeah. we get older. We try and look younger, yeah. but we make yeah. our work look older. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> It's the wrong way around, isn't it? I mean, it, we're, we're fighting two battles that are really, really difficult. Um, did you hear about that block? Oh, no, I don't know if I should go off on that tangent. He's injected... Oh, OK. He's had his son's blood plasma injected into him to make himself younger. It's a thing. It's a thing. Anyway... Oh, yeah, how freaky That's was that? That's slightly so, off on a tangent, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lewis got <laughs> well excited. The paper. <laughs> Lewis was like, oh, I've got loads of nephews. I've bought them really good presents in the past. <laughs> already, you were like, oh, already tapping them up. Do you <laughs> know what I say kids. to people though, yeah. on a slightly other tangent, when people moan about being old or yeah. older, I always say it's better than the alternative. It, it is. No I mean, I'm getting older. Absolutely <laughs> getting old, you'd need to think, thank your lucky stars, yeah. don't you? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, there you go. We've covered all sorts, even before it's show. In five minutes, we've covered all sorts. Um, so, you're also getting your hard... I love it, it goes straight back. Yeah. Um, you're also getting a hard case, um, the cover, so as your front and back cover. And then, and then, so that's all your sort of extra embellishments. This is the, the stuff that's been designed to go perfectly on your yeah. book. Yeah. So, again, you can use these papers just as they are to cover the book like I've done, or you can start layering. Beautiful. So, with things like this, if you want to layer your front covers, then obviously you don't have to keep the embellishments just to the inside. Yeah. You can do it on the outside. Beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Love it. And then, of course, you've got all your paper for your pages as well. So, there's a lot in this kit. You're also getting full instructions. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a right little thing in my throat. You're also getting full instructions to actually do this bind. Um, and that is, that's a lovely, lovely bind. And I like it because this is learning technique. Once you've yeah. learned that, all you have to do is practice, practice, and you will yeah. be able to do that bind again yeah, and again so and again. It's the sort of thing that, um, obviously, I... I overthink things slightly when I'm doing the instructions because I'm trying to tell people as if they've never done it before yeah. and giving the instructions for the bind. Once you've got it or once you've done the first couple of signatures and I'm going to show you what I can in the demos, um, it then becomes quite repetitive. So once you get into the rhythm of it yeah. and you work out you know, where the needle's going and the, and the rhythm of it, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Yeah, I, I think that is absolutely beautiful and definitely something that you you really, really want to give a go. Um, 020400 is your item number, only £17.99 for that full kit, including full instructions. And I think it's nice on this one as well because it is an exposed bind. So mm. if you're showing people what you've made, it kind of almost looks more impressive because you can see the stitching. Yes. You yeah. can see the binding it can show off yeah 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 and yeah. also so the first book kit i did with this bind was because i'd been researching medieval books oh nice and so i went to the archives at hereford cathedral cool. and they were showing me some of the old broken books because as we were talking oh. they were like oh we've got some that are, that are broken i was like yes i want to see them so i did this bind to kind of replicate the fact that you could see some of the stitching yeah. because they were broken yeah 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 because normally that would be the the cover that wouldn't they yeah. that beautiful so spine this kind of what we call the coptic stitch is it binds the boards yeah. cover boards in with it yeah but this stitch here this is what you'll find inside books and then Amazing. obviously it gets covered over yeah. But yeah i think it's nice to see it i love it and it feels really proper yeah doesn't it? it feels yeah. proper and we were saying earlier as well that it it's a um, it's a lay flat book yeah so yeah. because of the way that it's bound 
your pages do lay flat so if you want to do double page spreads or Amazing. opening it up using it as a sketchbook it's perfect yeah that's really nice absolutely gorgeous um and oh sorry i've got water everywhere <laughs> which is really bad when you're doing water and when you're doing um paper kits uh zero two zero four double zero is your item number as i said all your prices are ridiculously good 17 pounds and 99 pence that's all you're paying and when you think about all these things you know more water when you think about all these things it's not just the, the the kits that you're buying. You pay for the the sorting it all out, the ideas, the inspiration, the packing. Because obviously, I mean, I mean I'm guessing there's not like a huge team <laughs> no, it's back me and at home. So it used to just be me. Right. So when when I started doing TV, it was just wow. me doing it all. Martin started helping me out. Then he went from full time to part time in his main job, and now, now we work together full time. And now he's a, a but full time we do have, helper. We do have separate workshops. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sensible. It is very or sensible. Else, or else, Lou Roll. <laughs> I've, I actually tried to clean it up. Thank you, love. <laughs> I did try sleeve. to clean it up with my sleeve. <laughs> but um, you can't tell. The rest is on my trousers. <laughs> but it's okay. But yeah, I've got it. I've got, that's right. Yeah, I think separate workshops. Yeah. Otherwise. But just the two of us. So yeah. uh, we've each got different jobs. So he's got his own business as well, Mr. B Originals. Yeah. Um, so he cuts MDF and different. We, so we've got a show for him tomorrow oh, fabulous. on the main channel as well. Um, but so I source everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also do the boring paperwork and oh, all that sort that of stuff. Horrible but stuff. yeah, the the thing with these book kits is, if you want. I'm not a quick craft, but if mm. you want the thinking done for you, mm, mm, mm. you know that the papers are going to coordinate if you've got fabric. So a lot of the yes. book kits have fabric spines. They're going to coordinate. You've yeah. got everything in there you need, so you can dip in and out if you want to. Yes. But yeah, I spend a lot of time kind of sourcing papers and fabrics. Yeah. And yeah. I buy a lot actually X manufacturing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, things that would go to landfill. Yeah. Because it might be part rolls of fabric yeah. that they can't sell or whatever and yeah. sometimes I'll design around what I find and sometimes it's the other way around so I might yeah. find a fabric I think oh that would look perfect and then I'll design papers to go with it that's well cool or I'll design yeah. the papers and then go out to find fabrics to yeah. get you know so it works both ways yeah. but yeah everything what I'm trying to get at in a long-winded way is everything is you curated by me yeah yeah so you've got one designer one you know yeah. so you it's a lot it, of work yeah. and this is it I mean the prices are ridiculous when you think about what goes into it it's just just so cost effective um, now talking of fabric because this kit you've got some beautiful laces in here which are just gorgeous yeah. this is lovely I'm just going to shift that over a little bit so I can get in there. So this is a really nice mixed media kit because you've got all sorts in here. Yeah, so this is a bit different to treasure bundles I normally bring because we've got a whole bag of threads and different things like that. Yeah. So I was trying to think along the lines of journaling, things that you would use, things that you can layer. So you've got your laces, you've got different fabrics there Love that you can these. fray. You've got some handmade papers, yeah. some vintage papers. You know, it's... It's all about textures and, yeah. and layering things up. Yeah, this is lush. So loads of your, oh heck, loads <laughs> of your, um, oh, loads She's of She's having your, a great day. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not enough room for my elbows. My elbows <laughs> seem to have expanded today. Um, so you've got all your beautiful uh, fibres. Look, look, you've got handmade papers. I love these. These are really, I like kits like this as well because you're not having to buy a massive sheet of that yeah. that's then going to cost you three or four quid. Same here. You know what I mean? You're getting those lovely little bite sized elements, which means you get. <laughs> I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to swear. Sorry, I'll put it on top of the thing. Which means you've got a really nice um, selection of things without having to, to break the bank. You know, look at all the fibres. I'm not going to take those out. You've so got these, tons. These came from a fibre artist. Wow. And I bought a whole big bag of it. So I thought that's ideal yeah. when you're layering. If you want to get that vintage kind of feel, yeah. you know, that can layer with papers and fabrics. Um, I might see if we can stitch with some of it later as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they are nice. Uh, you've also got in this collection, obviously beautiful papers, vintage papers as well in here. Yes. Yeah. So the, the, the illustrations in this book, 
is amazing. Yeah. So I this book I went to buy from a company online yeah. and then they sent me a message saying, oh, the book's come back to us damaged. I said, right, I'll buy it back from you damaged because then I can take the pages out yeah, and put yeah. them in kits. Oh my gosh, what a good idea. I'd like to cut them up because yeah. the illustrations are so lovely. Yeah. This is a, a Braille paper. <gasps> That's so yeah. cool. Oh, how beautiful. I, it just, I, I just think it's amazing. You know, oh, learning how to read <laughs> Braille is just, uh, you've got all your beautiful, and I love these, because they're great for little embellishments, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Brilliant for embellishments. And then loads more papers. We've got ma um, material here. I mean, again, oh, the ger oh, we love these, the yeah, ledger so pages. Yeah, so that's we love the big, ledger page. Uh, I don't know what age it is because the ledger that I've got, it's all blank pages. It hasn't been uh, written in, so I don't know what age that is, but yeah. you can tell it's a vintage one. Yeah, 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 they're all vintage. And these are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, if you do want this collection, this is such a strong collection for 13 pounds and 49 pence. It's such a good price. That's 068725, your item number. Really, really beautiful. You've got such an amazing uh, find with that one. Um, stunning. Now, uh, we've got more <laughs> of your gorgeous paper kits. I will put it all back in a bit, maybe. Um, which, again, absolutely. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Charlotte's going to, as I go along as a wrecking ball, Charlotte will sort it all out. Um, so this one's 9468089999899. Nine, probably yeah 899 club members so with this one um beautiful beautiful uh, sourced images here these are lovely yeah so this again this goes along with the of book course. that we've looked at yeah. this is where the book came from this is the whole paper pack so yeah i take um antiquarian, antiquarian images yeah um, illustrations and such and then so you'll see with the layers yeah every single different element is from a different source so this is something i do design digitally yeah so on the computer i'll clean up the images i'll layer them some papers have got oh, yeah. how many layers yeah, on them yeah. um but then text in the background they're scanned in from my own collection of um vintage Beautiful. ephemera and journals and things like that oh they're so cool and there's loads you know you'll be cutting them out you'll be um obviously the technique you showed earlier on today perfect for that i mean there's so much you can do with them isn't yeah. there yeah ultimately and you've got a lot for your money how big is this one do we know how many papers we got in this I think one there's 35, 40, 40, 45, oh. mate. You've got <laughs> even better than you were thinking. Yeah. Um, 45 papers for £8.99. pence. The ledgers, I just adore, adore the ledgers. Uh, 946808 is your item number. Oh, that could have been one of mine from solicitors. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually from a textbook. I think oh. that one is. No, yes, it is. From a textbook that I've got. Look at the writing. Very neat writing. Yeah. yeah. My my granddad used to write like that. Yeah, it's he, lovely, oh, isn't it? yeah, yeah. absolutely beautiful. He, he took time though. Yeah. You know, to actually yeah. get it perfect. Just so gorgeous. Um, that's a cracking kit. If you'd like to get hold hold of that one sauce um only 8.99 um again the prices are magnificent um so oh it's okay charlotte's gonna sort okay, everything not, right, out for okay, us we'll collapse it's that fine then, shall we? yeah <laughs> Just, just, I'm just walking away from disaster. Um, 946808. Now, next we've got for you, and again, this is just, they're all beautiful. They're all um, different as well, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So you've got so different elements. You might see on different kits, um, there might be flowers that I use again, because yeah. sometimes I have favourites, and I'm like, that needs, but also it means that, that you can cross, not cross reference, that's not the correct phrase, but. Um, things go together yes. like we were saying earlier about the stamps if they're all designed by the same person then they work together so very often you'll see a common theme there's a, a common natural history yes. theme yes <laughs> there absolutely is yeah you can see it straight away yeah. obviously museums nature yeah, yeah. the beautiful <laughs> journal and these are wonderful because that you were saying before because they are literally it's like your journal page yeah so you could physically make them into a journal yes. and i have done but i don't know where 
where the sample oh, disappeared to. But yeah, you could stick these back to back, trim the pages down and bind them into a book so it looks like um, a vintage book. book. Yeah. How cool. Yeah. So cool. Love, love, love that one. Obviously, that's another absolute bumper pack. Um, there's how many pages, sorry, again in that one? At 35 in this one and um, right. again only 899 bargain that's 521828 the next one that we've got for you oh and there you go that's your, your little picture um, the next one that we've got and again this is just beautiful so this one is your Williams that's it. <laughs> I remember that because obviously I mean as soon as you see the print yeah. Oh. So I've taken some um, William Morris prints, yeah. layered them, distressed them, and then the the first one that you showed that's got the illustration of the lady on, that's yeah. actually from some um, vintage seed packets. Oh, you don't wow. get seed packets with that sort of thing. No, but you yeah, don't. I've that's layered amazing. it. There's little bits of text in there, um, but yeah, they I've. I actually scanned in from a jelly print that I did. Yeah. And that's what I've overlaid for the, like the distressed bit. Cool. So, um, yeah, yeah. so it's your print and then loads of different yeah. elements. So I like to take elements from different places, mix yeah. it with a bit of my own. And then, like I said, it's a digital collage. Yeah, um, yeah. It takes time stuff like this. I started giving this a go and it's so time consuming. <laughs> yeah. It's an, Oh, there's a lot of work, but it does look super effective. I mean, this is the type of thing you want to see on fabric, isn't it? Yes. You know, it, because yes. it's just so gorgeous. And I mean, again, there's a lot in here. There's a lot for your eye to take in and start to um, to obviously lift out and use in different ways. 091715 is your item number. Now, in that one, I've forgotten how many you said. 35, sorry, Laurie. You did tell me, and then I, I immediately forgot. I think there's 40 forgot. in this one. Oh, is there? It says 35, so is if it? you get 40, sneaky treat. Well, yeah. <laughs> it does say 35, which means you can get away with putting five less in each one. Um, only 11.69. Sorry, I'm only teasing. Uh, 091715 is your item number. Next. Then you've got a whole row of stamps to go for. And again, these are just lovely. The next one. Now, this is an essential, quite frankly. Your vintage yes, so tickets the, need. The first time I brought it, yeah. we had X amount of stock yeah. and it flew out. Yeah, so I, I brought it again and it sold out again. Of course it did. <laughs> because it's just one of those handy things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So again, some of this is so this I've called the really useful range. We were yes. talking about stamps earlier. If I yes. call it the pen to paper range, I've hand drawn it. Yeah. This is a really useful range. So there's some elements that I've hand drawn, yeah. and that, but most of it I've designed on the computer. Yeah. So yeah. I'm never going to say it's traditionally drawn yes. if I've been computer aided by yeah. it. Yeah. So, no, I um, like that. But this sort I of thing these. for layering. Um, oh, if you remember, yes. Charlotte might remember. You yeah, won't not remember. me. Not um, me. I could Charles do some stamping it, of this on tissue paper later to make a background. Ah. Remind me on demo time. I'll try and remind you. <laughs> but yeah, this <laughs> looks really nice if you stamp them on. You know, like the coloured sugar paper. Yes. If you stamp these on that and then go oh, around with yeah. some walnut stain distressing, they yeah. literally look like old tickets. Oh my gosh, yeah, because on yeah. that funny sugar paper, because it's yeah. got that really old look to it. Yeah. What a cool idea. I love that one. You've got your child's ticket. Somerset, that, <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that's beautiful. Really like that. Only 14.39. We have got those back in stock. Clear stamps. Um, they're going to come in the lovely little envelope really really cool the next ones that we've got for you um are you lit now look at these again i'm showing you the stamp just so you can see the size but essentially they are the same size as as you know the the images on the packet um this is lovely because they are really detailed this is one of the first ones i'd i'm not sure if it's got a number on it actually one of the first um that i designed oh wow and it is drawn from vintage lace beautiful and i've done it so that you can repeat stamp so that large one that we're just panning past now that yeah. will repeat stamp as will this one that's coming up yeah then you've got elements that you can just stamp into backgrounds they look lovely on papers stamp them on fabrics 
um, it, yeah, it just gives that vintage yeah. feel. Like proper yeah. vintage lace. I mean, yeah. I recognise it. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've, I've seen it. I've used it. I'm sure yeah. of it. Um, again, only 11.69. 345353 is your item number. Uh, next with our lovely stamps now i really like this one because you you can't have too many scripts in life quite frankly <laughs> and this you just can't they yeah. all give you a different look i've got so many scripts but i i love them because and that one's got a beautiful flow hasn't yeah. it look at so, that as i said earlier there's some things that i design oh, almost lovely. selfishly so if i feel i need something yeah. then i'll try and design it and i thought background text even the techniques that we were doing this morning you could put you could put some of this into the background yes um i've done it quite close together because you don't have to be able to read it but you can it is a yeah. little short story that have i you wrote written that is that your handwriting it's not my handwriting i was gonna say i've, you're written, good. I've written the short story oh. but that is actually a digital font <gasps> nice um, that's a yeah. good font but i have written the story oh. yeah so like i said i've i've overlapped some of it but you can read it through i really like that yeah. that's lovely <laughs> i can read the once upon a time after that my eyes give up um 115918 is the item number it's a nice size as well i'm going to show you a real one because it's another one of those that you know you can just use part of if you want to yeah. or the full thing but that is a lovely stamp 899 bargain that's busy as well 115918 is your item number next we've got for you and i love these scruffy stitches <laughs> oh that sounds like that sounds like it's quite of my needle and <laughs> um, these are lovely again brilliant for for edging and you know yeah. for adding a little bit of detail so i did this one again because there's um i do tags very often you will stitch around the outside but not yes. everyone has a sewing machine yes. or even for myself sometimes i, I don't want to get the sewing machine out just to do that so these I actually stitched on my own sewing machine. You've even got like some ends of thread there and then I scanned it in and just kind of darkened the color a little bit. That's such um, a good idea. But again, so you can repeat stamp them so you can go all the way around the edge of something or just have it peeking, yeah. you know. Peeking out a little peeking bit. Out a peeking little out a little bit. Especially yeah. your scruffy stitches at yeah. the end. <laughs> um, really like that. Again, really versatile stamp set. That's 108241. Now, next we've got for you, um, and these two are really, really handy as well. Now, we did actually, in the last hour we saw this one, this is the one that you've got all them different stamps so you can make up your own sentiment. Yeah. I love this one. It is so cool because you've got so many, so many options. Yeah, so you can make full sentences yeah. or you can just use random words, which is nice when you're journaling as well. Yeah. Um, so you could just have blessings or adventure or you can start making up your, your sentences. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, and you do start looking, don't you? It was, and because the it was is in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> said sun, moon and sun. Love you to the moon and, oh, I just, yeah, there's yeah. so Fairy much. Fairy dreams, there. happy frog, you know, all sorts of things. Oh, oh, I love it. Happy stars, happy sun. Magic snail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the snail. <laughs> I think it needs a capital the. Um, that is such a cool set of stamps for £12.99 pence again club members it ain't £12.99 for you uh, 932251 is your item number for that one now next we've got for you the words volume 2 so we saw this one in the last hour sneakily as well this is lovely never too old for shenanigans no, shenanigans never. is such a good word isn't I know, it right yeah. it, should, it should be brought back more people should use yeah. that word a lot more often and we can do that <laughs> we can start that trend that's fine um flowers know nothing of their beauty that's beautiful never grow up stay silly laugh often yay oh to have wings and fly see i love that one yeah that's yeah. that's oh, i always that's said dreaming. you know when people say if you could choose a superpower what would it be for me yeah. it would be to fly yeah 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 i'd love to be able to do that <laughs> yeah oh it's just beautiful oh are you going shape shifting nathan yes yes uh what about you miss Shaw? superpower you're flying Fly. too uh <laughs> laura what would be your superpower please invisibility i've always yeah i've thought that <laughs> one's a good one as well yeah that'd be quite cool oh read people's oh minds. no you wouldn't want to do that 
I don't think you'd want to. I, I don't do think you want to read people's minds. I, I think that's best left alone. <laughs> yeah, uh, me too. I don't, yeah. It always is, isn't it? It's you just don't dangerous, know. isn't it? You don't want to know. No. Because yeah. it's those fleeting, you know, it's those fleeting <laughs> thoughts that people have. I think we're just have. thinking no one would want to read yeah, our minds. No, no. <laughs> It'd almost be like going on Facebook, wouldn't it? You know, and go, Because oh. people just mind dump if on we there, don't it, they? Like, how many tabs are open? How many, <laughs> yeah. How yeah. many trains of thought are there? Mind you, a minute, it'd just be white noise in mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, if you do want anything, they're lovely. They are absolutely beautiful. Do not miss out on anything. You can get it all on the website. That is createandcraft.com. Um, of course, on the website, you're going to see all the goodies from Journey's shows this morning. Her two-hour shows from this morning. It's really busy. Thank you ever so much for joining us. We are so, so grateful because, obviously, we're really trying to build up our mixed media hours um, and get more people into it. So it's lovely. We had email this morning, actually. Um, from our Sue saying she was getting into mixed media because of our shows. So thank you. Get your email sent in studio at createandcraft.com. If you've got any photographs of some of the mixed media projects you've been creating, send them in. Because what we'll do with our emails, we forward them over to our Clear, who's in marketing, and then what she'll do is put them on our Facebook site. So we've got a photo um, album that's just dedicated to photos we've received from you guys with your mixed media projects. So get those in. We'll be able to look at what you've been up to and obviously we'll send them over to Clear. We'll be able to um, upload them for us. Uh, but thank you for joining us. It's lovely. Now, where are you starting to right. this half love? Well, I'm going to show you a bit of the book. Okay. Now, I can't show you the full bind. And the only reason for that is because we've got two hours and I thought, oh, I'll be able to show the whole binding. Yeah. However, yeah. the way you need to bind it is you need to have it to the edge of the table ah. and towards yourself so we won't get a shot. Right. So I'm going to show you for anyone that hasn't seen it. I'm just going to cover the boards. OK. Show you how to line up your piercing for your pages. So we've. I say we, Martin, pre-folded <laughs> these pages. Right. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of the stitching because I'll have to tip it up. Okay. So I can't do the whole thing, but it will give you an idea okay. of the stitching. Did you say you were going to try and film one anyway? I will try and film one, yeah. um, but it won't be immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, if anyone follows me on social media, most things go through Facebook. Yeah. Also, I've got a group uh, crafting with Janie's Originals. So I sometimes do live demos on there. Amazing. If there's anything you want to see or, you know, if you have a kit and you're like, oh, can you try and show us this? Then if I've got time, I'll do a little demo and, and show you. Or there's other ladies that have been collecting book kits. And if I don't get to answer any questions, they you hop do. on as That's well. So really good. Yeah, if you've just gone to Crafting with Janie's Riz, we just answer a question to get in. Yes. Um, yeah. So we know that Proves you're genuine. you're not a bot. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, right. So talk us through. So first of all, now we were chatting about your adhesive in earlier show, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. So the the main thing is you don't need much of it. Right. Okay. People tend to think when I do workshops, I'm always like, don't use too much glue. You they don't think need you're that being much. Tight. Well, no, because people think to make it more sticky, you need more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't. There's very little water in this. So unlike the PVA that I was using earlier just for the collage, yes. that's got quite a lot of water in it. Yeah. The techniques we were using, that's fine. We yeah. didn't need to use the good glue. Yeah, this, this is, is the good glue. Well, this is a book binding glue. It is archival and it's acid free. Yeah, okay. yeah. what's this one actually called? I, I just it, call it? it smooth stick. Sorry, my tape's <laughs> over it because so that it doesn't spill when I'm- Amazing. Um, so smooth that smooth way stick. smooth stick Excellent. because i'm not very inventive with names <laughs> all my brain power is taken up with designing and i think well it, it sticks nice and smooth so that's what we'll call amazing. it amazing um it's on your screen for you that is your smooth stick um with uh the spatula only 14.99 uh, and you get that with the applicator as well yeah so this is a new bundle right that is it's just come out today ah, um, so okay. you've got both glues and two spatulas oh, so that's I good. can show you here the size of the spatulas. Cool. Um, this is the one I tend to use, but the larger one actually is perfect for, for something this size. Nice one. Um, okay. But this one is the one that I generally use. Yeah. So you don't need much of it, but I always start off with more than I need yeah. because I find it easier to spread. Yes. Because Rather than having to keep getting out of the tub. Well, and also because we are working with a very porous surface. Yeah. 
we need to work relatively quickly yes. um, because we're putting such a thin layer we don't want it to be drying before we've got to it yeah so i faff. start off with more than that yeah don't faff with this yeah um so you can see how much i'm scraping it back yeah a lot the main thing is we're not using much but we want full coverage yeah and that's why a spatula is really yes, good. Yes, because it's got a chiselled edge yeah. to it as well. So I always put the glue on the thickest substrate rather yeah. than on the paper. Yes. It's easier. Yeah. Um, I've already cut this out. Perfect. But this print is... Let's get rid of that. So this is where we have to try and stay clean. <laughs> um, Especially when you've got a strand glue. Yeah. So I'm pushing it out now from the centre outwards Beautiful. so I could see when I started I had some air underneath there so by pushing it out like this you can get the air out but it is very quick grab yeah so you do need to make sure that you get it lined up and get it down centrally okay because if that goes wrong you ain't going to be pulling that back you ain't going to be pulling it up again okay. yeah um but yeah there are other prints in the pack so if you yeah. were to make a mistake or whatever yeah we were also saying earlier so yeah. here you probably can't catch it on the camera there's a slight bubble under there now that probably is where i put it a little bit thinner or it started ah, drying out a little yes, bit yes 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 and this is what we were saying earlier once i've completed this if i still have that bubble there if i put a heat gun over it or if you don't have a heat gun, um, put another piece of paper or something over it and then a dry iron, yeah. it reactivates the glue. So as long as you didn't miss it and there was glue under there, it will reactivate it and that will that's almost such a like good top suck tip. it down. Yeah, that's such a good top tip. I'm definitely going to remember that I one. I said a lot of glues do it. A lot of glues will be reactivated yeah. by heat. Um, with this one, do you ever go over the top and seal it or do you not need to with your book lining glue? Um, no i don't tend to um if it's something you're going to be handling a lot and you don't want dirty fingerprints yeah. on it then you could do um but all all of these are laser print so you've got that slight it's not a gloss yeah but because um toner has a wax in it yes it gives you that that feel that it's got that no. slight like yeah. said, it's not a gloss but it's it's it got feels a, like a coating. It's, yeah yeah um, if you did want to coat it if you did want to seal it at the top would you still use your your smooth glue um to actually go over the top does it or does it dry does it still have a tack do you know it doesn't still have a tack um but again it, it will do it but again it's whether you want to use your good glue for that yes you yes. could um yeah you probably won't want to use your best stuff would you no i'm just thinking whether pva would Ridiculous. it will seal it but i yeah. don't know whether it would I do give lift, you tack. lift mm. your um paper at all yeah you have to be careful don't you but you can also water down this smooth stick so if you did want to put a great or like me very often i leave the lid open too long and it will thicken up a little bit yeah so sometimes depending on what i'm doing i actually like it a little bit thicker yeah but you can put a little drop of warm water in it and then liquefy it a bit again Beautiful. so yeah you okay. could water it down and, and paint it over if you wanted to glaze that's probably the easiest way of doing it so here sorry we were nattering on so when i cut the corners i didn't cut the corners flush to the board ah, okay. i leave at least two millimeters away so basically the depth of this board is two millimeters so if you oh, leave at least two millimeters away yeah i tend to stick the two shorter ends first you tuck these corners around okay. ah. and then when I stick that oh it's nice and neat you'll see that you get that coverage if I'd cut that down to the corner you'd have a tiny little gap there okay that's so, a good that is a good strong tip I'm always cutting it wrong <laughs> every time you're better to leave a bit extra than you know not quite enough so Sorry, I'm, just, I'm trying to get an eye for three in me now. Subtle as a brick, I, I can see you at the corner of my eye and I'm thinking, I like, does she need technical help? I, know, I remember <laughs> two zero. Oh, I shouldn't really say that on air. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, have you seen them? You know, I know, know right. <laughs> oh, well, You're oh, just gosh. giving me your passcode, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, it, you know, come on. I mean, they're, they're probably anyway i'm not going to diss our lovely pads because you know that's rude isn't it 
For this side, I'm just using the quick stick. It is the same glue in both. It's just a different method of application. Right, okay. okay. Now, like we said, this has got a quick mm, grab. Pretty. So once this goes down, it ain't going it nowhere. Ain't coming up again. So make sure it's right. Yeah, this is cut slightly smaller, and again, that's scaled for you. So what I tend to do is line up your corners first, kind of hovering over the top of it. Make sure you're happy and then smooth out. Oh, that's pretty. Don't look profesh. So you've got that little yeah. border around the outside. So you can see that this was designed by me. For one, it's got a bit of map of Somerset. Obviously, mm. be rude not to. But also, this is one of my originals, which you can see has got the date 1880. Oh, wow. So that's I've well purposely cool. kept that. Yeah. Um, and then this actually is scanned from one of my old tape measures. Oh, <laughs> nice. Isn't it so, nice? There's so many elements. There's so many layers. Yeah. Isn't yeah. there? It's really cool. And that's how you cover a board so that it's nice and smooth, professional corners, yeah. and you've got your nice inlay there. It looks really professional as well. It does help using the right adhesive, it must be said. Um, yeah. that, that smooth smooth adhesive is rather <laughs> lovely because it does indeed give you that smooth finish and it's cracking that you get the tub and you're also getting um the one with your little you know your no nozzle thing <laughs> precision um, nozzle. yeah your precision tip yeah um if you do want to get hold of your adhesive it's just there at the bottom 14 pounds and 99 pence you do get your two spatulas as well there six six zero three eight two your item number we have got an email from jennifer good afternoon jennifer um she says good <laughs> afternoon leone um our journey and viewers gallery and crew hello crew <laughs> uh, saying hello in my head as well uh, loving the the show learning loads stamping is my first love of craft but unlike my bank um but unlike my bank balance are forever expanding we know this well and um, could i ask what's the best way to m remove dried glues etc from glass mats as i don't want to damage them um watching with a coffee now then i let's walk see if we say the same <laughs> yeah. and then people the poor backstage clean it up for me oh, which i know right naughty it's the only and sometimes i try and clean it myself <laughs> but you know um, but i not am often <laughs> i'm terrible for this because i hardly ever i've got a lot of glass mats that are vile um, have you got a top tip for cleaning it? Well, if it's dried on, I literally spritz it with some water and I keep an old palette. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Palette knife and I scrape it back. Yeah. I do the same with yeah. acrylic paint as well. Yes. Um, it, it, to me, it doesn't matter if you get a few scratches. Yeah. You're not going to, this is tough and grass, so you're not going to scratch it enough that it yeah, really that damages ruin. it. But yeah, I tend to scrape it off. Yeah. And then also another top tip is I never fully clean these yeah. because if you do mixed media techniques and you want a bit of texture, yes. if you scrape your paint over, it automatically does yes. that for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, that's my excuse also. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> um, I must admit, yeah, I've, when I've had to clean my mats or when I've got, oh, when I've got resin, that worked worse one. Resin is, oh, that's a different story. Uh, but It just sounded like when I have to clean my, when my person doesn't do it for me. <laughs> darling. Oh, Charlotte. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know that uh, that's your that's your your one sort of you know how like famous people have your riders and you know yeah uh, that's it for us. Yeah. We got someone never never to uh, someone's clean our glass mats. It's great to be fair. Must though. have coffee on tap and someone to clean my glass mat. Oh yeah, the coffee you make yourself, kid. Old. Oh. Yeah, but Hot I wouldn't want. For me, I wouldn't though. expect anyone to make me Hot coffee. chocolate for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, um, scraping it and unfortunately the gang have to scrape it as well, don't you? Yeah, the gang scrape it off so that is the best it is the best way because some stuff yeah. it's it's stuck in it yeah it depends what the glue is as well if mm. it's a water-based one then it'll come up quite easily because yeah. it'll peel back yes um but if it's solvent that sticks yeah. things like metal and glass then that's a bit 
that's trickier. trickier. You do yeah. need to try and clean it up as you go. Yeah, really. or, or you have some uh, you, that's disposable underneath yes. you. I know when I yes. spilt resin in um, on a wood table, that was doomed. <laughs> doomed. <laughs> I know I rented but accommodation. Then have to res resin the whole top of yeah. the table. I tried to sand it back and everything. It was like, oh, I'll just oh, pay God. them. Yeah, I just end up having to pay the fine. <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> okay, whatevs. <laughs> Deal with that. <laughs> with, uh, let's just get back to the book. Back. <laughs> you get a spine template. It's literally just Ooh, printed good. on paper. Yeah. If you've had any of my book kits, which are the A6 ones, you'll see that this is quite different in that you've only got um, a hole indicated through the centre and then you've got lines. Because this is a different type of bind, it's a different type of template. And I suppose with that template, it's paper book. They'd be able to copy that, I presume, because yeah, that's going to get a bit battered, isn't it, eventually? I mean, we don't need to use it much for this, but if right. it's something that you want to reuse and replicate your own if you buy my papers and boards and things like that, yeah, yeah. then what I say is before you cut it out, it'll just be on a strip of paper, before you cut it out, put some sticky tape front and back oh, yeah. or laminate it, yeah. then cut it out, and then you've got something yeah. you can reuse. I love that. Don't want to Just get your sticky tape get on it. Get some tape on it. Of course, yeah. rather than laminate. Yeah. It? Of course, why don't I think of things like this? That's <laughs> fabulous. Um, so you'll see that the binding comes across the front yes. here. So we need to pierce these holes. These holes also need to line up with our stitching lines. Okay, yes. Which is where this simple template comes in. Yeah. This will be my front cover. I was, I was just checking because <laughs> when I did a demo with Hayley, she just stopped me and went, oh, is that the right way up? I was like, oh, no, it's not. Oh. And I was, I was like, thank you for that. Before you did it upside down, wrong <laughs> yes. way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a screw punch. So you can do it with a screw punch. Yeah. So it's basically... Just like so. Yeah, that's great. Cause so that... these punch down. Nice one. But also, so I'm just using this to guide me. If you don't have one of these... You can punch into this template first, go over the top, mark your holes. Right. And then if you've got a you've got proper, dial, proper dial, you can go in with that because you can line it up. Yes. Um, and yeah. if you don't have either of those, then you can do it with an awl. Right. But you yeah. would need to, um, obviously, need I've to already dig stuck. In, don't you? Yeah, you would need to make sure your fingers are either side. Yes. And you would need to, I tend to twist and yeah. push. Yeah. So yeah. And it will go through to the to Amazing. the full uh, width. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And that's I suppose that had been the original way, would it? The all. Um, if you're doing like fine binding, then yeah. very often we have like a little punch and you hammer it in. Right. Okay. Um, so similar thing to this. So this literally yeah. screws in. Like the eyeliting tools. Yes. Remember eyeliting tools? Yeah. We used to have the metal punch for that, yeah. didn't we? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's what. It'd be. So it's like this, but it doesn't have that screw element. So it would be metal, and you would hammer it yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how cool. The only problem with doing it with an awl is it yes. will splay out at the back. Yeah. So you would need to tidy that up a little yeah, bit yeah it's not but as pretty is it no and and you you are going to see it because it opens yes of fully. course um, yeah. if you're doing it with the cropper dust so i'm just going to go over that to neaten it up use the smaller of the two holes right okay so just get that little bit out. perfect i think we have another email here you know um this is from debbie um she's loving uh, jenny's bracelet yeah they're lovely aren't oh, they actually? i made them yeah they're beautiful <laughs> they're really pretty um loving the show with jenny and leone thank you uh, so great to have the mixed media master classes um where you can dedicate so much time to demos thank you thank you for watching um just a quick question for jenny can her original print be used for gel transfers moustache don't want to miss a thing gel transfers now I'm rubbish with gel transfers still I don't I still haven't really nailed gel transfers so you need a high contrast so right. it's something like let's see right. what we've got so here. if it was something so too it, subtle that's not yeah, gonna it, work it won't right um, so the collage papers that we had earlier I've done right. it with those and they work perfectly because they're laser printed high contrast right so um, the way that you would do it is ink up your gel plate I normally do it with a dark color like a navy blue or something like yeah, that yeah you then put your print down on top of it smooth and it, it has out. to be laser doesn't it 
Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Which so is why it will these work, will be perfect. It will work with magazine prints as well. Yeah. Not all of them, but you need to go high contrast. It depends yeah. how it's printed, but most uh, magazines will work. Yeah. So you put the print face down, smooth over the back of it. Yeah. Pull it off, and what it does by magic is it transfers the image yeah. into the I just don't even understand into the how acrylic. It works. Yeah. And then you let that dry. And then you roll her over uh, like a pale. I very often use a buff titanium colour, yes. or you can use white. I mean, you can use whatever colour you like. But, but again, I'm going for color. yeah. Again, I'm going for a higher contrast. Mm. Roll it very thinly over the top, so it almost reactivates the the mm. print that's underneath. Put your paper over, rub it, peel it back, and you've got your transfer. That's so cool. So something like that wouldn't really work yeah. because it's not quite high contrast yeah, enough. Yeah, it's too soft, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I bet your flowers, you know, the um, your flowers now, on your thingy. I don't think I've tried it with colour. Ah, OK, because it's normally black and white, is Yeah, it? I've, I've done it with black and white, so I'm not sure about the colour, but they yeah. are laser printed, so in theory they have work have and it go. needs to be high contrast. But, yeah, right. just, just have a go oh, with it. Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. because, and let us know, um, obviously, you're not going to do it now because you're watching us. Uh, <laughs> but, but I'd love to know if that works because I do think it looks really cool. Okay. Right. Next. With this uh, demo, I'm going to cut it short because, like I said earlier, we can't get the camera angles yes. to get it all in. But I want to give you, you know, a few tips. An of idea how to do of where it. we're going. Normally, what we do is pierce from the inside. Right, okay. So you can do that if you prefer and you have a piercing cradle, then you can put it in like that and you can pierce right, it down. Right, okay. The way I do it from this book, because the stitching is on the outside, I pierce from the outside. Right. But we need to get this lined up. Yes, and it needs to be perfect. Easiest way of doing it. So, And also, once you've put your lines on and you pierce it, all your signatures need to stay in order right. then. So uh. the way I do it is you'd have your back cover on there as well, like that, yeah. so you can sandwich it. So that is how your book is going to be. Lovely. Right? I would then have it towards me. So I use what I call my book hook. We haven't brought it to air, but it's, you know, if you've got something you can square it up against, yes. that's the easiest way of doing it. Uh, yeah, I'm going okay, to see. Sense. If I can tip this up on something to try and show you a little bit better, I'm not sure I can. Mm. So what I would do is put the template over the top. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm just, just going to do what we can. I would put the template over the top okay. so it's in line. And then obviously you can't see what I'm doing because it's towards me. But the basic idea is that would be flat towards you. Yeah line up a little ruler so i've got this little metal ruler which is ideal for things like this yes. um you would line up with this line here along the edge and then with a pencil and if i'm book binding i always ah. use a mechanical pencil okay um because the width of the lead is very thin yes yes so even that makes a difference if you're going for precision yeah. even that makes a yeah, difference of course because if it's a really thick line you get you can get yeah. the wrong side of you, the thick you line. can get the, if mm. you got this one even a millimeter off yes that one a millimeter off but the other way yeah it starts not working and well it will work it just won't look neat yeah so I would put the line down, so forgive me, it's not going to be accurate because of the way I'm tipping it up to do it. And I'll do the same here. Oh, it's not going to be accurate at all. <laughs> but right. yeah, I just want to... We're pretending with you. Yeah, I just said I wanted to show you what I can um, with the stitching and as well. And we can well. see. Yeah, it's working. you can see, but it won't be perfectly lined up. It looks but great to you've us. You've got the idea. So by doing it like that and you've sandwiched it together, they're sitting where they will be. We've drawn lines up here, so you just want to check before you take it apart that you have got a little mark on every single yes. signature. Okay. Okay. I mean, they do look perfect. For and us. then, <laughs> and then, this is where we keep them in order. Right. So if I tip that one that way. Right. And then subsequently every other one I tip that way, they stay in order. Right. Just got some packing foam, open it out, so make sure they're level top and bottom. And then you use your awl, pokey tool, whatever you've got. Oh, wow, is that it? And you just pierce them like that. Ah. So then that 
goes back that way. So I'm lifting up from here. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Piercing oh down gosh. and then putting it that way. I so thought that were going to be way more no. complicated. So your fold lines start here yeah. and then they're tipping there. So everything right. is staying in order. Why does it need to stay in order? Just because of the way you've because there lined could it up. Be, yeah, there could be that slight variance. Right. Even when things are measured, um, so it matters top and bottom. So even though your template is measured, yeah. There's, there can always be that slight variance. Yeah. So and if you yeah. end up with one kicked around the other side, it might just be slightly yeah. off. But yeah. it's just a good practice to get into. Yes. Um, if you don't have an awl, obviously you need a needle to stitch this with. So another way of doing it is a bit of tape around the end of your needle. Okay. Oh, so it's comfy and you can actually hold the thing. So that you can hold it. Yeah, and then and the hole is actually. You want a chunky needle, don't you? Well, this is something that we were going through when I did my book binding course, my fine ah. binding. Um, technically, the hole shouldn't be bigger than your needle okay. if you're being really precise. And I, right, so. so that's why we were saying about piercing with a needle. To me, for this. I Go don't for mind it. using an awl. So it's realistically, fine. Um, if you were doing it posh, yes. Yeah, I suppose uh, you don't want you don't want big gaping holes, do you? No. You want it really refined and yeah. almost almost you don't notice them, don't you? I yeah. suppose. Yeah. So the the hole shouldn't be bigger than your needle. Yeah. We're doing craft binding. Yeah. We're also learning it as we yes. go. Yeah. So the. As long as you don't have a massive hole, so I wouldn't be piercing these holes, say, with something like this. Yes. That's too big too and, and you just don't need to. But if the hole is too small when you're learning, it's harder to see. Yeah. Anything that makes it harder is going to put you off. Yeah, absolutely. So, and to me, that that's perfectly beautiful. fine. Yeah, you know You can't see the holes, you, you yeah. know, because of the way of the stitch. No, it's perfect. So because of the way that I was folding them all over, mm -hmm. now I tip them back up, they're all in the same order that I pierced them in. Perfect. Yeah, okay, so that's Everything cool. stays the same. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you all of this, like I said, because we can't get the angle. But in your little bag of tricks here, you've got a couple of metres, actually I think it's two and a half metres of thread. Ah, uh, okay. Now what I say in the instructions is, uh, you could use the whole amount in one go, uh -huh. and then you won't have to tie it off, but you're going to have a length of string that is yeah. going to be And that hard could to be use. quite a faff, couldn't it? Yes. So I would um, cut it in half. Yeah. I'm just taking off a smaller piece because I'm not going to show you the whole bind. I yeah. just want to kind of get you started. Yeah. If you do, I mean, I suppose you'll take us through this, but if you are small, using smaller pieces, there's always a way around it, isn't there? Yeah, so in here, wherever it happens to be in the book, there will be a join. Oh, is there a there. little knot? Yeah. So yeah. I've left the end so you can see it, but I've yeah. pulled the knot as tightly as I can to where one of the holes is. Yeah. So you can either ah, tuck course. those under. Yeah. What I've got in the kit for you is a pre-waxed thread. Right. If you were again replicating this and you wax your own, so I use a beeswax. Yeah. So you could use, even if you get this kit and you think actually I've got some embroidery floss yeah. that the colour would look perfect. Yeah. Um, or if it's six strand, you can take out three of one colour, three of another, and then Ooh, you've got like your a own. yeah. Nice. Um, and then wax it. So you and would. Is that important? Does it need waxing to flow? Yeah. So it's easier in the if you were so traditionally we might work with an arm's length wow. of, okay. of thread. Yeah. Um, if it's not wax, it's more likely to tangle up. I'm not saying it won't tangle up, but it's easier to untangle. Right. Okay. It's easier to knot with, and it just kind of strengthens it. Yeah. yeah. If you're waxing so it's your it. own, like I said, if you've got your own embroidery floss and you think actually that would look really cool on there. Get so I always use beeswax because it's natural. Yeah. Um, and you hold it over the top like this, and you pull it through. Like I said, this is pre-waxed. And that's enough. It's fine. I tend to do it um, three or four times. You won't hear it on this one because it's pre-waxed. But I can't. 
era stickiness. Well, can't you? Well, it I sounds to, like a sticky. When when I'm teaching people with a book binding, we're waxing our own thread on, yeah. like I said, an embroidery floss. When you go like that and you hear a squeak, you got enough ah, wax on there. It's okay. not quite the same on this because it was pre-wax. It's, yeah, not, it's yeah. not acting the same. So you're going for squeaky. Yeah. It um, looks like it's really um, stable as well. It looks like it's firmer. Yeah, and it's also easier to stitch with. So again, going back to if you were using an embroidery floss, yeah. it can be quite open. Yes. So when you start stitching, yeah, it would be quite easy to then stitch through your own thread yeah. and then you just get into a pickle. And it's easy so like from to break or for one thread to get loose. And yeah, that's it. Yeah. So what it does is it binds all your threads together so yeah. you don't have your ends poking out. Perfect. So a few reasons for it. But yeah, yeah. the one in the kit is pre-waxed for, for you yeah nice one okay cool. now, okay if you can i suggest using Ooh. a curved needle with okay. this so in like you brought your needle then. <laughs> <laughs> like what's that little beauty? you can do it with your straight needle but there's a lot of toing and froing opening the book closing it and whatever yeah. to do it so if you can use a curved needle i would suggest That's you do yes um, there are some in my brand shop. There's a little uh, oh, needle kit, so there's some curved ones in there with straight needles as well. Um, check a brand shop, obviously under Jenny's, um, at Jenny's Originals, of course, because that's got loads and loads of goodies in there. It is a different brand shop to our mixed media one. It is our Jenny's, so do have a look <laughs> in there for that well cool needle. If it doesn't it's come up in the brand on. shop, it should come up. If you pop anything in your basket, yeah. it should come up on ah, the when you're checking out your basket. So, like, you might mm -hmm. also like this sort of thing. Nice one. Now, what I've done is I've put a little knot in the end, just so I know I'm not going to pull it through. Yeah. And then a little trick as well is, because you know sometimes when you're pulling it through and you lose your thread. Yeah. Um, if you just thread through your thread like that yeah. and pull it, it knots it onto the end of your needle. So if oh. you pull it, it's not going to come off. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did that just blow your mind? Yeah. I suppose, well, my brain went, yeah, but how does it go through holes? But obviously you've got bigger holes, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that blew my mind. Yeah, Can I could tell? see it did, I could see oh, it did. It's <laughs> crazy. That's right, such so a good idea. Because that's well annoying. <laughs> and uh, that's the kind of thing that you're like, oh. Right, yeah, I've only okay. separated these out because I'm not going to show you the so, whole book. But like normally, I said, you can't see it all. So normally you'd be doing normally, the whole thing. Yeah, that would right. all be kept in order. Right. So where I've um, separated it like this, you would have it. You'd have yeah, all I've of separated them. it now, but you would have it all and then you would take one and bring it forward. Get so it. they would be that way. And every time I want to stitch another one, I would then bring it over yes. like that. So you so know everything. you're going on to the right way as well. Yeah. Right. I will do my best to show you what I can, but like I said, it's it's difficult. So we start with the first signature. So I've got my board here, um, just really. face down, and I'm starting on the inside. So I'm right-handed, so I automatically start on the right side. Right. If you're left-handed, you find it easier to start on the left. Yes. It makes no difference. It's the same stitch, you're just going in a different direction. Okay. So we end up going back and forth anyway. I just naturally start on the right hand side. Okay, okay. So we're pulling it through, so that's why we've put on the knot there. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the, the trickier one because we're binding the board onto it at the same time. Okay. So once we've got past this section, it becomes easier. Okay, so unfortunately, it's the first one you have to do. <laughs> it's, the, the first yeah. one is the one that's going to test yeah. you. Yeah. So we've come out through here, we're now going underneath our board. Right, right okay. so we're basically that is now attaching the board. I'm actually going to come out on the left side. And that matters. So, well, you can come out on the right or the left, but if you come out on the left, always come out on the left. Right, okay, so Again, keep it's it another uniform. thing that just keeps it neat. Yeah. So if you come out on the left, do that on each right. one. Right, and the loop and stays then, on the top yeah, of the, so on the spine. I'm pulling that now. So you can see that that's created our stitch ah, there. Yes, first one so in. So this is where you want to then start off by getting the edges lined up. So this is normally where, um, if we go front facing, normally I would be on the edge of the table like right. this. Some people find it easier to do it like this. Yeah. 
but <laughs> normally I would stitch to the edge, which is why I can't do the whole thing because you yeah, won't see what I'm won't doing. won't see what you're doing. Um, I suppose you find your comfy spot, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually wrapping that now. Okay, so you've gone literally so, under that stitch. Yeah. So what that effectively does is create a little knot. Okay. Okay, yeah. so I'll show you that again. We go back into the same hole. So this is where I said, like, while we're learning, you can have a, a larger hole. So you just need to make sure that you're not stitching through that knot. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is why it's handy that the, the threads are wax threads. Yeah, yeah. And pulling that through. Okay. Straight stitch down to the next one. Yeah. Like I said, don't be put off. This is the more, um, not technical, but the the faffier, the, yeah, the, the faffier the slightly bit. longer winded. Yeah, but yeah. even still, just because you've got to line it up. Yeah, there are instructions also. Don't yes. think that yeah. you have to remember all of this. So I'm just putting my finger between here just to make it easier, and you okay. can, I think, you'll be able to automatically see why it's easier with oh, a yeah. curved needle. And and again, staying to the left. Because if I did that with a straight needle, yeah. I'd be like flipping that up yeah. and flipping well, it back. And especially the more pages you get, the more faffy it's going to get yeah. for stuff like that, yeah. isn't it? So pulling that like that, and then exactly the same as before, we're looping under, which again, with a curved needle, makes Miles it easy. easier, yeah. And then oh, yeah. pulling it like that, and it creates a knot. So each time we're securing this first signature yeah. to our board. That's really cool, and then just back through again. Back through. So I'm gonna carry on like that, down through that here. That absolutely makes sense. So again. Back through, so I'll tip it up. Okay. Like that. Finger through like that. You have to out remember on to the go left. through on the outside, out on the left. Yeah. And back through the middle. Pull it like so you can see I kind of wiggle it as I as I pull it. Yeah. Um just to get that nice and neat here. Wrapping it again and trying not to stitch through our thread. Oh, oh getting your cheeky little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and then that little wiggle to pull it tight back in excellent and then once we get down to this last hole see it's quite methodical isn't it you it know, is so once you get into this like i said it, yeah. it then becomes quite um it's repetitive yeah. but kind of enjoyable because yes. you kind of get lost into it's it it's that kind of mindful thing again yeah. isn't it and it is yeah it's i wouldn't want to be interrupted when i were doing this but i suppose it's easy to see where you've what what stage you're at isn't it yeah you yeah. know, it's not like one of those where you, you're stuffed. Okay. So now we're at the end. Yeah. This is the stitch that we would normally go back in, but we want to bring another signature on. Right. So you can see that this one, it's now attached. Yeah. Okay. First yeah. one is oh, done. That's well cool. Um, also, a good practice to get into is just to bone fold over there each time it right. helps it lay and flatter. Right. Because that, yeah, because that's going to make it easier, isn't yeah. it, in the long run to get so, everything. Um, you want to try and keep your tension even where okay, possible. Yeah. Uh, you will get a certain amount of slip. It's the nature of the bind. Okay. Okay. So when you've got your finished book, if it's way too loose, you'll get a lot of movement. Right. But you'll always get a bit of movement. It's just the way it is. Oh yeah. yeah see? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It don't feel. It feels really sturdy though, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So instead of going back into that one, we're now bringing in our next signature. Yeah. So I'm just putting my fingers between, mm. and we're literally just going up into there. Right. Cool. Okay. So nothing else needed on that one. We're just linking the bottom signature to this next one. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Get that. Up into here. So I'm pulling that. So what you want to be sure of is that you're not, you don't pull that way right. because you might rip your paper. Okay, yeah. So if you're pulling it, you always pull it in the direction that you're oh, stitching. Of course, because if you pull it, if you that's pull it where back, you're, yeah. Also, that's really annoying and I have done it on a book. I've got pretty much to the end <gasps> no. and then you rip it back. So just try and get into the habit of, because you want that a decent tension, yeah. but don't pull it back. Yes. And I always kind of say you need you need to be quite firm yet gentle, so yeah. you're not yanking it. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. So this time we're not connecting the board, but we want this.
to attach to this one. Okay. All right. So all we're going to do is loop underneath it. Okay. Like that. And see where see where I flip that over. Yeah. Because that now is coming through there. And creates that knot. Ah. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. So we'll do that again in a second. Yeah. So that's lost we'll come. Me. Yeah. We'll come back into here. <laughs> Did you see the blankness like there? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm saying yes, I don't know what I know, you did. I know. <laughs> right, let's loop it. That's something that you'll often do as well, is get it caught on that corner oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Right, so again... You're we're showing us all the bits we're swearing at already. <laughs> <laughs> so we're pulling it again in the direction that we're threading. Yeah. I'm going underneath here. Yeah. But yeah, so this thread here is yeah. on the left of the needle. So as I come up through, it's creating that oh, knot. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, I right. see that. So back in, and then we'll finish the demo at, at this point. Of course, but realistically, what we'd be doing yeah. is putting another so, and another and another. Yeah. So from this point on, oh, again, cool. you would loop underneath. And so if you if you don't get it right the first time, yeah. you can literally loop through. Do like you know that. what? I find it easier looping it through like that because yeah. then I'd remember to do it. Yeah. I think. And that's what it does say in the instructions as well, loop to, it. to loop it through. Yeah. yeah. So you can see there that you would then just carry on in the way that we have done. So you'd put your next yeah. signature on, you go in. When you come out, you're always looping under yeah. that last loop there. So again, that, um, like that. Yeah, that demonstrates why it's easier to use a curved needle yes, if you can. Yes, definitely. Because you I mean, can without literally a shadow just, of a doubt. Yeah, you can literally just loop yeah. it under. Um, so it's possible, and, yeah. the, and the, I've seen a lot of people doing it with your straight needle, but you would literally be oh, having to go. You'd have to go through like this. Yeah, and open you'd your then pages, have wouldn't to you? Open it up. It would come out and you'd go back yeah, out again. Yeah, it's no. just the faff. Yeah, no, the 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 looping need, needle yeah. is absolutely a game changer. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant! I like that. So a lot. yeah, it would just carry on like that yeah. until you get to your top cover and then you repeat Amazing. that again. I love that and look how professional it looks. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I really like that. I love seeing things like that because when you see a book that beautiful spine sometimes i don't know about you but it looks quite magical it looks a little bit it looks like one of those um fantastic skills you know it almost feels like the lost skills of bookbinding yeah. although yeah. it's not but it's got that that yeah you know you you expect everything to be made in a factory these days don't mm. you so when you've got that beautiful hand bound book there's something so so stunning about it it is like a heritage craft and it is i mean these have been passed down for years and but years this and also years. is what i'm trying to do is like we were saying earlier there is yeah. you have your fine book binding yes. which takes people years yeah. to get you know and it can be very technical there's yeah. lots of stages then you can get into your leather work and the and the tooling and the you know all that yes. sort of thing what i'm trying to do is bring it to you as a craft binding yeah so you've still got a professional finish yeah. so you've got the little hints and tips for the professional finish but it doesn't, it's not going to take you years yeah. to learn how yeah, to do absolutely. it. Yeah, you know. And it's not, yeah, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect and 100, you know, I, this is what I love about it. It's achievable. We were Let's saying, make it achievable. We were saying at the weekend, so someone had cut something and they said that they're, so they do it with like a board cutter and they yeah. said that it's slightly off and each of their boards has a slight kink. And I've noticed when I trim pages down, very often I'll have like a slight <laughs> kink at the top. It's just yeah. how I do it. And we were like, well, that's like a maker's mark, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like that's, yeah. you, you know, is it, a really, is it a real Janie's Originals? <laughs> yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that kinky corner. But it's, it's a Janie of, Original. It's part of being yeah, handmade. Absolutely. You, know, you want it to look professional, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Yeah. It's not churned out in a factory. Yeah, it, yeah. They're, they're not all going to be the same. Absolutely. And that's so, what makes them fabulous. Sounds like another excuse, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs>
<laughs> and see, us crafters, we've got full of them. Yeah. Um, now, you can get everything on the brand page, okay? Shopping by brands, that's our Janie's Originals. Um, there's loads and loads of goodies, including all the beautiful kits that we've seen this hour, or these two hours. We're well into the second hour. Or, of course, the kits from the first hour. There's loads of stuff. If you miss the first hour, please go back and look at those stamps because they're adorable. But Janie's got so much stuff on there. So definitely, definitely spend the time and have a look through some of those wonderful kits. And the prices are magnificent. Um, obviously, we've got the rest of this hour. We've got 45 minutes left. Um, however, uh, we're just going to remind you about your cat postage, which means you can treat yourself. We're not worrying about postage. Here's the boys. You get the goodies, I'll get the door. Okay. Hello, Create and Craft Delivery. Wow, this is the biggest order I've ever seen. Haven't you heard? If you order anything from Create and Craft now, it's a cat PMP of three ninety five per order. Cat PMP of only three ninety five for all of this? Yes, it doesn't matter what you order or how many different items you buy. What? Even the really heavy stuff like this? Yes, sewing machines, die cutting machines, everything in the van. Oh, there we go. That's the last of it. I don't think they're at home. We'll have to come back later. I'll warm up the van. Oh, hi! Fancy a cuppa? Oh, yes. That'll be lovely. Chop, chop, Dan. Order two or more items from Create and Craft and we'll cap your postage at just three ninety-five. no matter how many different items you buy. Shopping at Create and Craft just got even better. Tickets are on sale now for Crafting Live at Doncaster Racecourse on the 15th and 16th of July, featuring exclusive offers and competitions. Sign up to free make and takes, stock up on your crafty goodies from a vast range of exhibitors and watch live guest demonstrations. We will also be broadcasting live, so join our audience and meet our presenters after the shows. Club members, order your tickets online to receive free entry. So, treat yourself or someone special to a great day out and book your tickets now at createandcraft.com and search for Crafting Live. We look forward to seeing you there. Indeed we do. I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, but let's... Can I just say, yeah. she makes me laugh. Are you a bull in a china shop? Oh, I got the what's it wrong and I decided I were a rhino in a coffee shop. <laughs> I was like... Don't go knocking everything over again. She's like, I'm like a rhino in a coffee shop. I was like, do you mean a bull in a china shop? Like a right rhino in a coffee shop. <laughs> same, same, well, but... Same so, outcome, I same suppose. Good. But I did, but I was saying then I had an image of the rhino with uh, a donut on his little horn. Trying to get it off really annoying because he can't get it in his mouth. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, oh, rhino. And I go, oh, imagine that. You won't find that in the angle, darling, would you? <laughs> Oh no! That <laughs> One would, that, would hope not. No, that would that would hit the 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 Amdel press. Yes. I tell you. Um, now then, we've got half the stock has gone with this collection. I'm so pleased because it's absolutely divine. So you've just seen uh, Janie demonstrating this. It's so cool and achievable. I like when you demo it because otherwise it does feel a little bit like oh that's gonna be. But yeah. actually seeing it, it's like oh I could do that. Yeah. I just need a bended. Definitely want a bending needle. <laughs> Uh, you've got everything in it so all your different elements obviously get your glue as well uh, but there's loads of goodness and then of course you've got all your beautiful papers as well the papers are lovely a real mixture wee, of ephemera <laughs> of course it's going to happen a real mixture of ephemera but like you were saying these are exactly the right size to fit on the book if you yeah. if you want to use these but you can mix yeah. it up yeah you can mix it up so very often people go for a book kit with the corresponding print pack. Yes. You've got extra to decorate within your book, but also it means if you want to change it up a little bit and there's a specific image you like for the front yeah. cover, you can make it your own. Yeah. I always like people to have choice when yeah. it comes to kits or even when I'm teaching workshops, yes. people have choice. It <laughs> is very important. Yeah. Because otherwise, people don't want to make exactly the same, do they? Um, now, if you do want to get hold of this, I love all these. Um, 
sheets with all your different ephemera on. I think they're so cool. Uh, £17.99 and they have been laser printed, haven't they? Yes. You on, were saying. It's on a 90 GSM, um, like super smooth paper. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a lovely weight to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice weight for doing what you're doing, isn't yeah. it? You know, because if it were too heavy, um, trying to do the folds and stuff is a faff. It's yeah. an absolute but faff. But we were saying earlier with the uh, collage print yes. pack, so I print that on a slightly lighter weight paper because for collage you don't want it too thick yeah absolutely but th yeah this is the best paper i found for printing yeah. on yeah. uh yeah and i do like the the laser prints as well because again when you put your glues and stuff you know it's not going anywhere don't yeah. you you yeah. know it's fixed um if you do want to get hold of this kit a great price at 17 pounds 99 pence you will have full instructions to do that beautiful bind as well zero two zero four double zero now this is such a lovely kit i think this is one of my favorite favorites because everything just oh in fact this is almost limited stock so if you oh. do want this you do need to check your basket out i love it because you've so much texture Yes, um, I've kept this one, uh, apart from this print here, it's quite neutral colours because then it goes with anything. Yeah. You know, if you were doing this one or you're yeah. getting one of the other print packs or whatever, um, I like to take snippets of these, fray the edges and layer them up. Yeah. So you're making like little clusters and things like that. Um, but equally, you can use it for your card making. Yeah. So why not change course. up your card making a little bit and have some nice little textured clusters on the front and then a stamped image yeah. maybe. You can use it for all different things. Another thing that people have said is when they come to doing pages say in a journal yeah they're kind of like I don't really know where to start yeah. and I find if you have a kit like this and you think right this is this is my kit this is what I'm using yeah yeah you kind of think about it a bit differently but you start using everything and then it all goes together yeah so it kind of takes that uh, decision process yeah. out of it Obviously, you can always add things in, but yeah. there's enough here to kind of get you going. Yeah, because otherwise, it can be that um, you've got too much stuff. Yeah. And that just yeah. clutters your brain, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, choice can actually be a, a terrible. Uh, so it, it is nice when it's broken down, it all marries up and it, it makes it clean and simple. And also, for you. I find, I don't know about anyone else, but I find myself keeping even the smallest scraps. If you keeping within a kit like this you keep the small yeah. scraps and then that brings along other collage or you know when you do like collage masterboards and yes. things so lots of scraps you've got left and say you've just got an a4 piece of paper start collaging it on you can then yes. cut that up into tags and things like that so you'll start saving because it's precious it becomes yeah, precious absolutely <laughs> and collages are beautiful this is lovely and i do love that it's funny isn't it like if you find that at the bottom of your, your sewing bag you'll be like oh for goodness sake but in something like this it's treasure because of all the colors look at the colors and but the sheen is, on this is it's, beautiful it seems a, it's not quite it's not a sewing thread yeah if you see it's got a slight sheen and it's yeah it's got yeah. a real like sheen I, said, I, I bought a, a big bag of it from a fiber artist amazing um so the, it was probably used to stitch into so you could layer this so you've got a calico so if you were into stitching yes. in free motion you could layer it on and start stitching in with a bit of your lace and whatever how cool yeah of course you could just sort of bind it in and trap yeah. it couldn't you yeah. you've got your laces um, which are beautiful really soft gorgeous laces and um, you've got more of your beautiful prints I mean it's a really big kit for 1349 there's a lot of elements in yeah. this and uh, every time we make these kits up it's always my job to make these mm. kits because I put quite a lot of different things in it yeah. so it does take us a while to kit them up yeah. so while Martin might be packing other book kits I'm like right I'll do the treasure yeah. bundles because there's lots of little bits things like this are great to put and then I question though. my design choices it's like with some of them different things tomorrow we've got some lap books on the show and yeah. there's lots of little things so when I'm designing I'm designing how's it going to look what do i think i need then yeah. when i'm packing i'm like why did i do that <laughs> there's so many different bits in it why did i make this decision <laughs> i i love these and it is like treasure it's like treasure tell you what it is so did you say limited 
she did, um, that their thing is going green. Um, it is limited uh, stock 068725 is your item number. I'm not surprised. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's only £13.49. Um, now we've got more goodies for you. And these packs are big packs, ranging from 35 sheets in each <laughs> one. Um, and they are absolutely exquisite. And of course, you, you the, the work that you were saying that you do with these, because you, you are layering these up, you yes. know. And I love it because I bet this, again, is a process of love, isn't it? It is, and some swearing occasionally. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes I, the, I the recent ones that I've designed, which again is launching tomorrow, um, my computer's been acting up. I was uh. thinking it was a design program. Everything was taking twice as long. Yeah. But I think I've clogged up my computer so much, I oh, need to get a more powerful no. one. <laughs> I've got You've so many images, it. so many designs on there. <laughs> You've broken um, the computer. But yeah, so we were saying earlier, the way that I design these digitally, so you'll be able to find each separate image yeah, yeah. somewhere yes. because they're public domain. Yeah, yeah. But I crop them out, I clean them up, I might change the colours. Yeah. And then there's so many layers yes. in some of these. Yeah. When you see some of the ones that I do that has foliage all along the bottom, every single one has been taken from a different image. Wow. And like I said, I, I have to crop them out, clean them up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so yes, it is a labour of love. A labour of love <laughs> and swearing. Yes. <laughs> which, let's face it, a lot of crafting in, that definitely <laughs> encompasses a bit of that. And there's all sorts. It's not just um, it's not just background papers or layering papers or collage papers. I mean, there's a there's a little bit of everything in here. They're really really nice kits of these. They're lovely. I love I love them. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of these, um, only eight ninety nine. It's such a good price. And look at, I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Um, 946808 is your item number for that lovely little collection, which again, I'll just leave there. Sure, <laughs> um, beautiful. Now, next we've got for you, and this is so pretty, um, because this one, the, the fact that, and I'm going to show you this section, because I think I showed you that section, so I'll show you this section. Um, the fact that, you could glue them together and actually make a gorgeous little sketchbook. Yeah. I think it's adorable, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? And they're just cool because they are like, I've got an old encyclopedia that um, my granddad gave me um, many, many, many moons ago. I mean, when you look through actually some of the things, it's like, wow, people believed that. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly horrendous to be fair <laughs> however there are still some beautiful imagery in it yes you know yeah. and that's the lovely thing about things like this isn't it you know the the imagery is just exquisite yeah i mean there's, there's a couple reasons for me using the imagery that i do one it's oh, we were saying uh, antiquarian yeah it's in the public domain for me to then create my own designs with so it kind of it lives on also I could draw and paint each of these elements, yeah. but there's no way I could bring you yes. a print pack for nine ninety nine no, no. if I did that. No, no, no. So it's got my twist on it because I'm digitally collaging everything yeah. and layering it, but you get those lovely yeah. um, illustrations. And of time's gone by. <laughs> I actually think, uh, I think saving those costs. I look at my granddad's encyclopedias. I'm trying to downscale at the minute because I'm getting myself a camper van <laughs> and have dreams of living in a camper van. I know you've not seen the job I've given myself. It's so laughable. <laughs> uh, but like it's encyclopedias. The artwork is just beautiful. Yeah. I'd never want to lose that. And it's yeah. like, well, one day I'm going to, because one day I'm going to pop off on what's going to happen to him. So <laughs> I actually think things like this, it's it's saving it, isn't it? And yeah. it's and I love that. It's preserving something that's just beautiful, and yeah. I think that's really important. Yeah, it's really yeah. important. Um, if you would like to get hold of these for nine pounds and ninety nine pence, um, utterly gorgeous. Five two one eight two eight is your item number there. Um, now we've got another fantastic collection, um, and this one you can see immediately why it's called um, our William's attic. I keep forgetting where <laughs> William is, but it's in his attic. He's in the attic. He's in the attic. <laughs> William's in the attic, um, and you can see because obviously. It, and it's got a mixture of different imagery, but especially, oh, where are you? 
I can't find it. The what are you looking for? Oh, I was looking for the main one. The one that's definitely mm, the red one. The oh, There's that another one, back that yellow one. one though as well. Unless Look that's at the background one. one. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And there is another one that's got an shall I reach across and grab oh, a few? I'll try not bed. to be a rhino in a coffee shop. A rhino in a coffee but. shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't um, be a rhino in a coffee see. shop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, these are so lovely. <laughs> It's made you giggle that one. Probably in, right, so that's the one that you were looking for. That is the one I were looking for. That is, I, I love must say that. that is my favourite of the whole That is pack. a proper William Morris one. That is beautiful. There beautiful. is a large version of this as well, but also a smaller one. So that yellow one as well. Oh, yeah. So I think the that red one and the yellow are my favourites yeah. of this whole pack. They're just lush, aren't they? But Absolutely then you've got, lush. You've got lovely oh, so many. prints like that as well. Oh, I love that. That's so, yeah. welcome. Look at that script. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's magnificent, isn't it? So those are just lovely just to cut those yes. out and then put them yes. in the journal, even if you don't do anything else That's with them. So nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. Um, again, this is a bumper pack. Remember, each one of these at least 35 sheets. I know I'm being a bit random there because, um, you know, I know it's at least 35. Uh, 091 715 is your item number. 12.99. Uh, the prices are ridiculous quite frankly uh, <laughs> but very very affordable indeed um that one is zero nine one <laughs> seven one for i know <laughs> walk away next uh, we've got our little stamps <laughs> how carry on Marina? carry on patiently did you notice how patient i were being uh, uh, smile and wave uh, yeah, smile and wave. just carry on <laughs> thank you and teeth <laughs> small birds and teeth um, so, you need to be reminded about your tissue paper. <laughs> what am I reminding her? I've for, absolutely oh, yes, forgotten. Stamping on tissue paper. Stamping on tissue <laughs> paper. You nearly lost me then. <laughs> what were little birds and teeth? Yes. <laughs> uh, don't know why I can't say it, but I can't because it sounds naughty. Um, <laughs> now then. Um, stamps love love these love these these are your essentials when Jen has brought these in the past they have absolutely sold out twice we've got them back for you and they are beautiful now 15 pounds and 99 pounds um have a look close can we have a look close because you've got a lot of detail in these haven't yeah. we yeah so I was saying earlier that some elements are hand drawn so those three at the top that you're focusing in on now they've got hand drawn oh, elements thank you. Um, and I think all of the others are I've, I've designed on the computer love it I really like these and your top tips are printing on the old, the old sugar, sugar paper. paper yeah so I did bring um, an aged paper pack before but we did sell out of that as oh. well um, but it had some coloured sugar paper in there so you know like the the it's the paper that we used yeah, to use to put displays case. up yeah, yeah in primary school yeah but it also fades in sunlight yeah. yeah so it's really nice if you leave a stack out slightly overlapped i'm not sure how long it, it takes yeah. but you will get that fading which again gives that vintage image Absolutely. but if you stamp these onto sugar paper because yeah. of the that um it's that nice texture it's the texture but it's the color it's that yeah. soft kind yeah. of color uh, distress the edges and it looks yeah. like genuine the, tickets they're almost like um it's almost like the color that wasn't quite right isn't it do you know yeah, what i mean like it, well it's, it looks slightly it faded wasn't doesn't it quite it's quite a yeah. good pink and it yeah. wasn't quite yeah. a <laughs> It's almost like the kind of dregs of the pigments, isn't it? That's the sugar paper. I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but, but yeah, I, I see it. what you mean. But for vintage stuff, <laughs> yes, it's, it's spot perfect. on because perfect, that's the yeah. look of it. Oh, I yeah. think that's genius. I, ne I ne <laughs> never thought I'd need to dig out sugar paper. There you go, do never. it. But yeah, it's going to look well cool. Uh, £14.39, pounds, 226477 is your item number. Love those. We've then got the beautiful lace elements. Uh, which you were saying before, Jenny, these are literally lace elements. Drawn from lace. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but of course, they are your stamps, so you can layer them up. You can obviously have a full border, can't yeah, you? Yeah, repeat stamp. They do join up. Um, so yeah, like you said, you could do a complete border or a long run onto fabric and then kind of strip the fabric down. That looks really nice with yeah. a frayed edge. Yeah. Or stamping onto muslin. So you won't get a oh, yeah. perfect, you won't get all the detail, but it looks 
kind of older and delicate yes. because you've got that open weave of a muslin. Yeah, they're really cool. Uh, 12 dollars 99 353. We've then got the background stamps. Now, the script is just divine. Really, really like this. And it's it's one of those you will use again and again and again, whether it be a little bit, mm. whether it be the full thing. It's just such a gorgeous I tend to floor. use bits of it and not have it on a stamping block. Yes. So you just ink it up maybe with like walnut stain, uh, distress ink yeah. so again it looks old and literally just press it into little areas so you don't get a hard line of it it's just little yeah. glimpses of it yeah, yeah just a, a little touch of it here and there 115 918 is your item number 999 now next we've got for you um and again love this uh, these are your, your lovely little stitches um and these are the 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 brilliant because it's your finishing touch it's your little yeah. scribbler line around the outside yeah it's, it's, yeah. it's your filler inners yes. isn't it yeah yeah cracking and they're scruffy yeah um, but they look lovely on the edge of tags or put them down the edge of a journal page that yes. sort of thing it's just you know if you don't have a sewing machine or like so sometimes i'm doing little projects i'm not getting a sewing machine out yeah for that. just for that this gives you that effect yeah but you could use the two together so you could use that and then yes. hand stitch into it as well yeah which would look really cool yeah absolutely and save yeah. you a bit of time uh love those and again great price one zero eight two for one now favorite favorites because the words you've got so many beautiful <laughs> words i love the mix of fonts but it allows you to create your own little sentiments your own little thoughts yep. brilliant for your journals these are yeah. so good for art journaling and yet you've got all sorts in there it is funny i keep being drawn to the same ones i think because it's a bigger font but the frog and the moon <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh, it's just it's like oh, standard isn't it <laughs> my frog by the light of the moon what's that <laughs> <laughs> there's a thing in there there's a um, um, thing in the pussycat da, 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 in the light and the owl in the, the pussycat yeah i'm just a frog in a <laughs> pea green boat pea green boat yeah, yeah. Oh, like that. by yeah. the light of the moon <laughs> anyway there you go um <laughs> and see what you can make out of that i love that selection though it's cracking um what 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 did you get there the frog Oh, he's making up words. Oh, I know he's just making up words. <laughs> and yet that is what but I then, do every but then, hour. <laughs> but then saying that, you could then add it to your own. So if you see yes. certain words because you like the fonts and you just stamp them, then you can literally just add in. So I've purposely done them all in um, different fonts. Yeah. Because yep. then it looks purposeful that you're putting different things together. Yes. It doesn't all have to be in the same font. Yeah. So if there's a word that you think that would make a really cool sentence not in there, just add in one of your yeah. own as well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you just can write add the rude ones in. because I can't have that on here. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> and trust me, so many of us have tr thought about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So many of us have thought, you know that show that's nearly after nine? <laughs> <laughs> email in um <laughs> would you like that i think we get taken off nine three two two five one is your item number and then another favorite love these sentiments they're so nice um and these are limited stock as well less than 10 percent remaining um again i just think because i like my journals etc these are perfect yeah. aren't they yeah just perfect so obviously we come at it from the mixed media and journaling background equally if you're making cards yes yes but again like absolutely. we were saying earlier why not bring your mixed media or journaling into card making if you know yeah. i'm not a card maker but yeah yeah because i just don't send cards because i too. don't remember me too <laughs> me too i'm useless but yeah i suppose what i'm getting at is it can be used for lots of different absolutely. things it's, it's pretty open yeah and they're cool they're just really really nice and and you notice different. the little so you've got the heart the moth and the star yes that's because i didn't want open spaces and this is again something that um I learnt from Jenny from right. Hobby Art. Yeah. So basically, when it gets designed, there has to be a certain amount of space between every separate yes, stamp, it does. as you know. Yeah, I get um, told off all the time. So sometimes, if I've got images like with the character stamps, and there's like an odd little space, yeah. I literally trace that space and see what can I fit into it. Yes. Because you're yeah. paying for a whole stamp, but we just well fill it for you. Yeah. Yeah, so even well if it's a little bit. star, you'll see on some of the character ones, there'll be a tiny little ant in there, <laughs> Amazing. which is handy. So if you've got toadstools and things like that, you can yeah. stamp the ant, but it fills space. Yeah. Because yeah. you're paying for it. 
Yeah, so. <laughs> absolutely. You might as well get as much as yeah. you can for your money. Yeah, yeah I'm you and I've. Oh, I'm really bad when I do mine. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> if you do want that one, that is seven five eight um, zero eight zero. Okay, check it all out on the website. Oh my gosh, we've only got twenty minutes left. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Honestly, these shows, how can they go so fast? Um, 20 minutes left, gang. Uh, get your emails sent and we'd love to hear from you. If you've emails and photographs, even better, of what you've been doing on your mixed media journey, studio at createandcraft.com. Um, and remember, Jane is going to be with you tomorrow as well with all the new goodies. So definitely uh, worth tuning into our journey tomorrow. Right, love. What are you up to? So I've put the tissue paper there to remind me to stamp on some tissue okay. paper to show you a background. But what I thought I would do is, you know how we like washi stickers, washi tape? Yes. Um, partly because you can layer it over images and you can kind of see through it. Yes. So it's nice to layer up with your book page yes. and things. So I thought from one of these prints, yeah. and this was taken from the book kit, okay Wonderful. um there's prints also in the treasure bundle i'm not sure what stock we've got left of that though because that's okay. what i was going to use but i thought better not right i'm going to okay. show you three different ways of doing like a semi-transparent image Ooh, okay from a print. cool okay yeah so the first one i'm going to do is just with some sticky tape amazing you okay, know where i'm going with this clear stick i think i do yeah i think <laughs> i do i think this is one i've tried but um yeah don't say it didn't work because then you're going to make me think is this not going to work for the first time oh no it, it worked <laughs> but I, it, you have to be patient don't you if well, it's eh. a little bit so well, I'm, I'm really not <laughs> <laughs> but it works and it's cool so i am sticking this over the top and i'm burnishing it down right so you're getting a really good grip so i'm doing this small scale yeah um now I did bring this one, but I've decided not to use it. So you could do, say this is a solid print, yeah. you could do a whole strip of it. Oh, so wow. you'd have like a strip so of washi tape. If you were, yeah, that'd be cool. So like that on or, the treasure one, your music paper. Yeah, oh. you could do a whole strip of it. Also, Ooh. sticky back plastic. Sticky back plastic. If you wanted to do a large area, it will work with this as well. Amazing. You just have to try not get crinkles in it. Okay. But for now, we'll just do it with this small piece sticky here. Sticky back plastic. So. Burnishing it down. How is that treasure kit going, by the way, did we say? Right, um, if you do want that treasure kit, you would still have a few left. Um, it is very lovely. It's, um, <laughs> it is in there. I like the braille on the bottom. Let's see. Uh, and also, 068725, sorry. no problem. This is how it comes to you. We were saying uh, we try not to use plastic where yeah. possible. Yeah. So we wrap it in a paper wrap. Yeah. Um, these threads are put in like a little cake bag because yeah. you can even use that to make ephemera, ah, like a little fab. window you've got yes. here. And then the bits that do have to go into plastic bags, they're resealable. You can use them again. Yeah. Please use them again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, nice little bag, that one. Only 13 49 Thank you. Okay. Right, so I've got that burnished down and I've literally cut away the excess. And then going to spray the back with water. Now, this is a good thing about them not being on too heavy a paper stock or car stock as well because that makes yeah. it oh, laborious yeah so some people soak this in water i spray it okay and then what we're basically doing you see as i start rubbing it yeah, yeah. it peels the paper up yeah so what we're aiming for is to rub all of the paper off but leave the print now if um is it is better or does it make a difference if you use cold water or warm water? Is that relevant? Um, well, this is cold water right. and I'm just and spritzing it on. Most things work quicker with warm water. Right. So okay. when I was saying about if you've left the top open from your glue and it's thickened yeah. up, if you put warm water in, it's going to act quicker than cold water. Yeah. But I tend to use what's on my desk. I've always got a sprayer next to me yeah. when I'm working. Like I said, I have seen people actually submerge this. Yeah. I have found for these smaller ones, you don't it's need to need. do that. And are you having to press on very hard though? Uh, not really, as long as you, because I did soak it quite well. Yeah. And as soon as you start rubbing, if you see that kind of pilling up, you know that you can, it you know, like take most of it off. It looks like it's going off ridiculously easy. Yeah, it is pretty easy. If you rub 
too hard or you scratch it then you might lift the print because uh -huh, yeah, what we're course. doing and I'm turning this around just to make it a bit easier because I'm always kind of pushing away from yeah. myself so I'm not um, kind of getting it all caught up so yeah the idea that is like, to that, honestly that's come away so ridiculously and look and it, it's like magic because now all of a sudden you can see the yeah. um the, the board underneath so i'm just well you can see the paper there yeah yeah it's, it's come off um so i'm just going to go over with a cloth just to dry it down a bit and get off the excess look at that you can see the glass now, mat that is cool when it's dry yeah and even though i've wiped it off it is still slightly damp it may still stick right okay. you may still have the stick of the um tape on yeah. there yeah if not as long as you use a glue like the quick stick like pvas that sort of thing they dry clear yeah so then that you could then layer over something Look. and you can see i love it. that <laughs> it's so cool isn't it it's so cool okay i'll give it another go I probably yeah was... that has still got stick on it yeah there. yeah yeah so yeah that's yeah. really cool yeah. I love that you can see through it you could probably use as well um pin flare cell um is it the envelope glue yes they do. yes so oh, then yeah, you yeah, could yeah. put that on the back yeah. thinly let yeah. it dry and then once you put moisture on it it becomes a sticker uh -huh. yeah or if cool. you've got wide uh, double-sided tape burnish it down as long as it's clear yeah but yeah. that that does still that's it you can hear it that still it's, has tack to it yeah that is brilliant so you could so, make a few and then put it on a carrier yeah. sheet yeah um so trying to think what you get one from you know like if you've got your labels and you take the sheets off yeah also if you have so if you have your box of cornflakes for example yeah you know the packet that's inside it yes. it's non-stick ah, so yeah. cut that out you can use it for things like that or you can or use for storage it if yeah. you're gluing things as well use that sort of thing in between your pages that's and it will really stop things idea. sticking that's such a good idea that looks cool though if you don't want the shininess as well you can use you know you get your um your gel medium but the matte gel medium because that mats everything down yeah. so you could go over the top to to get rid of the shiny um sellotape look or sticky tape look right. okay so next next let's use some beeswax okay okay so i'm gonna rub this over the top okay. like that and you can't really see anything at the moment this is quite hard. I could put the heat gun on it just to soften it up a little bit, but we'll see what we've got. Okay. Putting the heat gun over. Oh, would you look at that? All right, so I need a bit more on there. Okay. So I'm going to go into the back so you can see where it's yeah. soaking through. It's starting to make it transparent. Yeah. And this almost turns into like a vellum. Oh my gosh, that's cool. What I have also done with beeswax yeah. and we looked last night and I don't think it's on the website anymore. I've got some on my website, but um, another thing you can do is if you melt a little bit down in a little pot yeah. and use a carrier oil, say like an almond oil, something yeah. like that, um, mix it together and then when it sets, it's like a wax. Oh, wow. So you can either use that, depending on how much oil you put in, if it's quite soft, you could yeah. use that and put over here. And that does the put same. Put the heat gun. But you can all, also use it as a wax, like on wow. furniture and wood. Yeah. And so does that mean you'd like be able that. to mix, um, mix a mica in it as well? Uh, if you want yeah, to make it as Yeah, you could probably mark. make wow. your own paste like that, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Ooh. I can see it going. So a little bit more. That's cool. That messes with your head a bit, doesn't you it? You could also, if you've got, um, you know, the encaustic art. Yes. Um, or the clear. Irons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or the clear, yeah. Yeah. Um, or if you've got a wax like this, put it over and iron it yes, over. Yes, of course. Because it's on a, on a matte paper. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. And I can see the wax now on the top. Yeah. You can see it sort of shining, can't you? So I would put another layer on there, but yeah. you get the idea. Yeah, that's cool. And depending on how much you build up, if you had that as quite a thick layer, um, I did one here. 
earlier. That's quite a thick oh, layer, wow. so you can actually feel it on there. You can feel the oh squeak. Oh my gosh, that is like your proper wax paper yeah. now. But then what I've done is I've scrunched it so it creates that crack. Oh my gosh. So if you and because lay it's that wax over, papered. if I put that up against the white look, yeah. you oh. can kind of see so it has a texture to it. It's got that yeah. gloss. Um, There's no way that looks like a uh, printed paper. No. Does it? That so has then if you utterly look, changed you know, the look of it. You've got that. And you know, I would I would build more up yeah, like yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah. But that's two different effects. Also that's with really this one, cool. you can see where I rubbed a little harder, it's taken some of the print away. Yes, but so you again, do that have to be a bit that, careful. But it also gives that kind of vintage yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah, it really does. It looks like it's faded. Oh and you which can looks yeah, cool. you can see if I'd burnish that down, that yeah. would stick to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ten minutes left, my love. Okay, so that's the second that's way. Two. Yeah. Third like way. This. These are cool. Is First mark. Yeah. So this is literally just a sticky ink pad. Yes. And let's put it on the back of there to catch it and clear embossing powder. Can I just point out, I love Janie's pot of clear embossing powder. Well, right. That is so well loved. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's because I bought a big bag of years ago. Are you because, still using it? You know, when I was saying, I can't remember if it was this show or the previous show. Proper. Yeah. Proper that. <laughs> yeah. And this is a posh telly one. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I think it was the previous show that I was saying I used to use craft items yes. in paintings. Yes. So I bought a giant bag full of clear embossing powder and I used to use it on large scale cross paintings. Amazing. So I would do paintings of like um, small parts of flowers and then some of the petals would be completely coated in cool. clear embossing powder yeah. or wax or so you yeah. can see how it's, it's all yeah, kind of Yeah, you can see where developed. it's all come from. Love it. it I, I really like, I like a proper tub like that. It makes me, it makes me proud. <laughs> the crafter and there it goes no oh, it never gets boring with embossing I know right mm. again you'll see it starting to come ah, through the back yeah 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 so I'm gonna do if I'd kept it on there while it was hot yes. I could have poured more on there yeah. but I thought I won't do it because it'd be all over me Matt <laughs> yeah because I didn't think about it and I took the paper away <laughs> So put another layer on. I can clean up. Mind you, stay okay. time in a minute, I promise the pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did it. There it goes. <laughs> this looks pretty whatever, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That glaze, it's just lost. So yeah, you've got your gloss on the top, and again, uh, yeah. you could you could do like another layer on there. Yeah. But you get the idea. Yeah, you start getting that translucent. Also, so. you can kind of crack that as well. Yeah. So the thicker the embossing powder, so you could use your ultra thick. Yeah. Um, I tend to just put more layers of of the the finer stuff. So if you add another layer on there, you'll get a deeper crack. Yeah. If you want to do that, and then you could go in with it might not pick it up because it might not be deep enough. But if you went in with a distress ink, it will sink into those yes. cracks. Yeah. And it starts again to give it that, that aged really look. Really vintage. Here. So I just wanted to show you kind of three different ways, really. Yeah. Yeah, of getting those gorgeous, gorgeous looks. There is another way that I'll talk you through Ooh. just while I'm stamping this. Yeah. So if you've got a laminator. Right. So if you put, say, this one and this one, back to back, put yeah. it in a laminating yeah. sleeve, run it through your laminator, cut around the outside, it will then pull it apart to two pieces. Right. Um, you can do it with... Um, napkins or rice paper looks really good because again you've got that transparency cool. cut that out and turn it into stickers oh, so you've got yeah, the gloss on course. top so the oh effect, yeah that'd be nice yeah the effect that you get um when you're doing it say with a i mean you could do it with this a printed tissue yeah. paper yeah um yeah because you you have that transparency to it nice and that yeah even better when it's been laminated 
So this is what I was saying about just simply with this sort of thing. Um, the tissue paper did come with one of the kits from this morning actually so it'll still be on the website. Well, let's not do it upside <coughs> down. And I'm just going to start piecing in. Beautiful. Right there. Create a little background. So you think two hours you're going to have masses of time and there's still so much stuff that oh, I'll just have to come back when I... Yes you will. <laughs> well when you buy it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah but not doing this. <laughs> no it's... It, I love these shows because it is nice because you do feel like you can play don't yeah, you? Yeah but also you can go off on a tangent so like we yes. start talking about other things if someone asks something or we're yeah. reminded of something yeah. you know. Which is important because you know that those little journeys are super important because that's where you learn, isn't well, it? Well, also and for us as well, there might be things that mm. I do that you haven't, and vice versa. Definitely. Um, so there might be things that I'm doing, and you go, "Oh, have you tried that as well?" Yes. And I'm like, "Oh, that would work really yeah, well." Yeah. Um, so you know, it's always yeah. Um, that's why it's good as well as if you can craft with other people. Yeah, it is now. Nice. You know, if if there's any yeah. craft clubs near you, and yeah. cause sometimes people want to do stuff, but yeah. they're not quite sure where to start. Even if it's Zoom ones, because I know, like, you know, it, a lot more people are doing stuff online now as well, aren't they? Yeah. And even those are cool. It is nice getting together, though. I like this. That's building up fabulously. Yeah. So even like little bits that you leave yeah. I could put another one of those in that will slot in but I just wanted to show you quickly because obviously you know we think about these stamps as to make um faux labels yeah but, but for equally let's turn it that way for backgrounds that is really cool because then if you so I won't go on because you get the idea but then if you had and I haven't done what I said I was going to do do a journal spread we haven't even got time to do it no but <laughs> if you were to, I mean, I've done it with the brown, you could do it with black, you could do it with whatever colour you want. Um, tear that out or cut it out, layer it over a journal page. And yep. again, because it's transparent, yes. you'll get the images yep. on there. So, yeah, if you go over, say, let me put it over that music paper. Because just like, oh no, because that's a full kit. Just over something like that would be lovely. We're going to pinch it then from the full kit, which is terrible. Do you want me to go and rummage? I've got some sugar paper. Oh, the sugar paper. See the colours. The pink that ain't proper pink. The great, it's great. You see this it? where it starts fading around the edge. Yeah. So it's I thought while I've got paper. these out, so you can see like how we've done it on there. But oh. then if you stamp on here. Sugar paper is, um, it's not construction paper really because it's not got the, the weight to it. It's, I bet, I bet sugar paper's like a recycled paper, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. It feels like quite, yeah. um, uh, quite a cost effective uh, recycled yeah, paper. Because I also think if you, you know, papers that have a grain, yes. you can tell normally by tearing yes. it but this tears pretty much the same both ways so i would say it's recycled and it's pulped. just all pulled together yeah yeah, yeah. 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 i'm guessing I, I, don't I reckon it is and it's i mean it's one of those that that's why it works it works so well with the yeah. vintage stuff because yeah. it has got that vintage look oh thingy scissors oh i like them scissors all right so these are what i call perforating scissors oh they're a bit fancy they're the not same. seen them before. They're the same as hair thinning scissors. Really? So wow, I love them. If you cut the <gasps> edges... Oh, I need some hair thinning scissors. Hang on, let me get some... I probably don't. I'm a bit of a nightmare at cussing me on air. It gives you that, that edge. That's well cool. That like looks like a proper it. little sorry stamp. Also, you know the... Um, look, I just want to carry on all day. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about, like, like, oh, you can do this and you can do this. It, yeah, yeah. Um, we got a minute and a half. All right, so I'm just going to distress the edges <laughs> and you'll see what I mean about it. That's kind of really good. Good old and sugar paper. You would crumple it a bit because yeah. it's in, been in someone's pocket. Yeah, but yeah. But it's a sort of random thing when we're talking about like rummaging in the attic. That's it, yeah. If someone's kept a ticket from somewhere yes. they've been because it means something. Um, but if that goes in a journal, yeah. Oh, looks I think well it cool. looks quite really cool. That is really cool. <laughs> it is really cool. I'm not going to lie. You now need, you need those stamps, you need some sugar paper, and you need them hair thinning scissors. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that were going to be a once in my craft Another kit? Another way you can do it is if you know the old um, tailor's wheels. Yes. You can do that. Or yeah. if you've got a sewing machine, don't thread the sewing machine up. 
but and punch yes go of course. In the, and it'll punch it yeah yeah, yeah brilliant yeah. i love that um oh my gosh there's so much to choose from isn't there check your baskets out don't miss out on anything our lovely journey's brought us what time are you with us tomorrow love 7 a.m oh and evil then i'm bringing mr b originals at 11 a.m oh, so fantastic. two completely different shows again amazing yeah. amazing oh my gosh you're gonna be so busy I know. Um, right <laughs> 7 a.m set your alarms because that's a <laughs> time of the morning uh, thank you ever so much thank you that fun. was so so lovely i learned so much um and you've got so many kits to choose from thank you i will see you next week jenny i'll see you tomorrow bright and early bye